So obviously, you know, really disappointed with the loss. Uh, I thought that we played, uh, thought they played phenomenally well in the first 15 minutes of the game, and they made every shot and banked in a couple shots and had some shots that rolled around and went in. And, and then I thought that, you know, the last 25 or 28 minutes of the game, uh, it, uh, we seemed to recognize the team we were for the first couple games before we came back to the convocation center. Um, you know, I, I give UT Martin all the credit. I mean, they, they outplayed us. Uh, they made all the shots that they had to make. Um, they shot great percentages. Uh, they made some really difficult shots, really, in both halves. And the kid makes a three. You know, if that, that ball stays out, we're going to get the last shot. And, um, you know, they, they outplayed us. They deserved to win. You guys got out-rebounded 33-22. A couple of really key offensive rebounds. What did the buckets put them at the end? How frustrating of a way is that to lose a game? Yeah, I mean, they play smaller post players, and they put them kind of on the elbows. And uh, they set a lot of ball screens over there. And what happens is, you know, you, you go out there, you try and help on the on the dribble handoffs. And when they shoot and miss, those smaller, quicker forwards are running to the rim, and they, they, they cleaned up. I, there was a couple of offensive rebounds that, that I thought we, we should have been more physical. Uh, that's certainly a, an area of concern for us because we, we think we spent a considerable amount of time on it, um, trying to be a better blockout team and a better rebounding team. And this is the first game where we've gotten handled like that. So it's a concern. No, you know, I don't think that we've defended, you know, we haven't defended as well as we had the first couple games. I thought the first couple games, in, in, not in our building, we, we've had tremendous fight. And I thought we saw a little bit of that. But, uh, you know, I, I thought that one-on-one, -on -one, we did a very poor job of trying to guard guys uh, in the post and in the lane. I just thought that I think our, our guards did a reasonable job. And they made some incredible shots. I mean, give, give them a lot of credit. They made some, you know, I would almost call them stupid shots that went in. So, um you know, almost the kind of shots you want them to shoot, and, and they just kept going. They, you know, the, the unfortunate part was that uh, they got off to such a good start, and we gave them a lot of confidence. And even when we got in the lead in the second half, uh, they knew that they could beat us. And um, you, you know, give them credit for for playing such a strong game all the way through for 40 minutes. Even when we got the lead back, they had confidence. When you talked about how the rotation's going to be fluid this year. You had 10, 29 minutes. Shakir Brown only 10. Why did you decide to go? Well, I, I thought that Jackson played well. He made he made three threes. I thought his energy was good, and and uh, you know it is going to be fluid. It is going to change, and I don't know where it's, we're going with it. Um, but I, I like the team that we had on the court, and guys know if they take difficult shots or early shots, uh, they're coming out, and if they don't give us a maximum effort, they're going to come out, and that's the way it should be. And uh, it's what's going to take to be a, you know for our team to reach its potential. And I just said to our team, this is college basketball. If you don't play forty really good minutes. In college basketball, you lose, and it doesn't matter what the records are. And uh, UT Martin's a better team than is a better basketball team than the record, and they play great. They play better, and they won. Did you like the defense on that last possession? Did you, I mean, did you want Howard to be the guy to, to take that shot? Uh, that yeah, How, Howard's made uh, not even a few a few threes this year. That's not his shot. Uh, and even uh, Lewis, for Todd Lewis, number twelve, he made he had two threes. He made a three in the first half. He's made one basket coming into the game. He had two th he had two baskets at half. Um, two really difficult shots, and one was a bank. Um, so, you know, tip. You know, I think you just got to tip your cap to the other team. I, I, for H Howard to make that shot, and he's and he's not a, he's he's under twenty five percent for the year, and he's not a, he's not known as a three point shooter. His career numbers aren't great, and he makes a three, and he made it on the road, and he made it with the shot with with the clock winding down. So, um, you know, I thought he did he made the shot. So give them credit. Well, that, that's going to happen. You know, that, that would have been great if he made the free throw. would have put a little more pressure on that shot, to be honest with you. Um, but Ron, Ron's been there time and again for us. He was there again for us today and made some big plays, and he'll be there, you know, every, all through the year. And I think he'll have more opportunities to win the game for us. You mentioned shortening up the rotation today. Was that just, you know, trying to get some more chemistry out there? I think so. You know, uh, you know, we'll see where it goes. I mean, I don't have a, a whole lot of comment about the rotation. I, I was comfortable with how, how we played. I think the guys and uh, kind of expected when they can get in, and uh, you know, I'll have to, you know, we'll, we'll uh, continue to talk to our team about what's best for our, our group.